Live reports from a Russian ship, which also advertised nappies for a commercial sponsor. The police are trained to deal with the unexpected. It's regarded as all part of the job. But just occasionally, something can happen to throw the most hardened Bobby off his beat. In Liverpool, a heavyweight vandal did just that after saying goodbye to the circus. She went with a trumpety trump, 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 trump. Finally, the main news tonight. Arctic conditions have paralyzed parts of the country, blocking roads and cutting power supplies. Hundreds of drivers were left stranded. Thousands of homes have been without electricity. The Foreign Office has told Britons hiding in Kuwait, prepare to leave. And that's News View this week. From Lynette and from me, good night. Good night. With the case of the Birmingham Six very much in the news, every man tomorrow evening on BBC One meets some of the wives and daughters of the six men sentenced to life imprisonment in 1974. Every man with the Birmingham wives tomorrow at 10.20 on BBC One. And just over five minutes here on two, Wagner's vision of the apocalypse brings down the curtain on the ring cycle. And the elements seem far from friendly as we join John Ketley for his weather view. Yes, good evening to you. The weather's very interesting indeed at the moment and will remain so for the next 48 hours or so. And it's certainly more interesting than it was at the beginning of the week. We'll just have a peek back to a few days to see how things were then. If you remember, it is a long time ago, but things were very quiet. In fact, with a large area of high pressure over the country, that brought a blanket of cloud. At least we escaped the frost by and large. It did mean to say though, that we didn't see too much sunshine. These are the sunshine totals though for the week. Not too bad, I suppose, on the south coast and in southeast England around about 20 to 22 hours of sunshine for the week. But Tyree, well, they didn't really fare all that well. Temperatures, though, bordering on the boring, really, for the time of year, spot an average. If you said between six and nine this week, you wouldn't be far from the truth. And that was what it was. Six degrees at Norwich, Manchester and Lowick, and nine degrees down in the Channel. But uh, during Friday, things really started to happen. We've been predicting a change in the weather, of course, as far back as last Monday, and it duly came about. Of course, the extent of the snow, you can never exactly be right about, but it's certainly been pretty bad today. It all started yesterday as the wind direction changed around to the northwest. We had this blast of Arctic air coming down and weather fronts streaming across the country, but hesitating really across central parts. But what it meant was that the band of rain readily turned to sleet and snow on its back edge. And yesterday it was the northern part of Britain that saw most of the snow. And then during today, the area of low pressure developing in the southeastern corner of the country meant blizzards on its northern and western flank. And really it's been southern Scotland, northern England, the Midlands into East Wales that really has seen some atrocious weather in the past 24 hours. There's more snow to come, especially down in the southeast, so you haven't escaped just yet. Let's take a look then at the weather chart. That's tonight's chart, the low pressure centre in the southeastern corner of the country. That low pressure is going to move southwestwards during tonight and tomorrow, taking its snow and sleet away with it slowly. There'll still be plenty of it about. But then you can see down in the bottom right-hand corner of your picture more snow developing coming off the continent 
And that's the situation for tomorrow afternoon. More snow arriving in that southeastern corner of Britain. Well, on the radar picture, just an hour and a half ago, you can see where all the snow is at the moment. Really atrocious conditions still, still blowing a gale, so still drifting of that snow, causing some really terrible driving conditions. So more snow to come. The snow moving across Wales down into the west country at the moment. Some thunderstorms, incidentally, running through the English Channel. And the snow over northern England, if anything, moving northwards up the eastern side of Scotland as we run through tonight. Obviously, very tricky conditions wherever you are. Don't go out unless you have to. Severe frost in northwestern parts of Britain and slippery roads virtually everywhere else. Well, tomorrow, another grim day by and large. The snow in different places. It's never in the same places uh, two days running. But if we take a look at the weather chart, we can see that things are still very complex. One area of low pressure leaving the country to the south, another one developing over the Alps, and that one swinging northwestwards as we run through the day. So the brightest weather once again up in the north and the west, a mixture of sunshine and wintry showers there. Still very windy, but that wind probably moderating a little bit as we run through the day. More snow turning up in the southeastern corner of Britain and the snow in eastern Scotland drifting westwards across western Scotland into Ireland as we run through the afternoon as well. Temperatures again barely above freezing and of course with all the snow lying in some central parts, probably zero about the best on offer. Well, that's the chart on Monday. You can see the low pressure just drifting a little bit to the east by then, but still a lot of wind across Britain, more drifting to come, more gale force winds, more sleet and snow. But if anything on Monday, perhaps a little bit milder, perhaps some of that snow in the southeast gradually turning to rain. That's it from me. Bye bye for now. Classic opera and dance this Christmas on two. From the Royal Opera House, Janacek's The Cunning Little Vixen. The Birmingham Royal Ballet performed David Bintley's delightful hit, Hobson's Choice. And from Glyndebourne, Sir Peter Hall's production of La Nozze di Figaro. Classic opera and dance this Christmas on two. Well, now on two, we reach the final episode of Wagner's Ring. Before the performance, Enoch Powell and the tenor Robert Tier, who appears in tonight's performance, offer two different perspectives on the apocalyptic end of this epic drama.